Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand exercise 4.2. Question number one. Give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So here we have to perform two steps. In first step, we have to separate the variable and then we have to solve the equation. In this equation, x minus 1 equals to 0, x is the variable where 1 is the number and 0 is also the number. Now in this equation, we have two sides, RHS that is x minus 1 and LHS that is equals to 0. Now this is our equation that x minus 1 equals to 0. Now if we want to separate this variable, we have to remove this minus 1. How to remove this minus 1? That if we will add here plus 1, then we can cancel out both of these numbers which are having opposite sign that minus 1 and plus 1. But by doing so, we also have to add 1 towards LHS. In equation, whatever operation we are doing, that we have to do at both the side. If we are adding, then we have to add at both the side. If we are subtracting, then we have to subtract at both the side. Now, let us solve this. So, minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled it out. And here our x is alone. So, we have separated this x. So, this is the first step where we have separated our variable. And in next step, when we will solve it, this both of the numbers will get cancelled out and we will get x equals to 0 plus 1 equals to 1. And in next step, we have solved our equation. So both the steps we have performed and we have solved our equation. That first we have added opposite sign, same number, and then we solved the equation. So this is how we have to solve all the equation for this question number one. So first numerical, we have already seen it. Now let us start from second numerical b x plus 1 equals to 0 let us first solve all the numericals and understand it then i'll show you how to write it in a notebook so x plus 1 equals to 0 here our rhs is x plus 1 here as you can see plus 1 is here so if you if we want to remove this plus 1 we have to subtract this rhs with minus 1 so this equation with 1 at both the side. So, while we are doing subtraction, I am adding here minus 1 towards RHS and the same way I am writing here minus 1 towards the LHS side. Why? Because I want to separate the variable. Now, this both are of opposite sign. So, I am cancelling out and when I am solving this equation, I will get it here x equals to minus 1. So, that is going to be my answer that I have solved equation over here and first I have separated the variable. So, whatever sign will be there towards RHS with the number, we have to add the same number with opposite sign. Then only we can separate the variable. Now, let us understand equation C. X minus 1 equals to 5. Now, our RHS has X minus 1. So, let us add here plus 1 and similarly towards left hand side also, let us add here plus 1. So, at both the side, I have added plus 1 towards RHS and towards LHS. Now, let us solve this equation. So, minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled out. I got here x equals to 5 plus 1 will give me 6. Equation D, x plus 6 equals to 2. So, already x plus 6 is there. Now, if I want to remove this plus 6, I have to subtract here with 6. So, with opposite sign, this both number will get cancelled out and I will get my variable separated. Same way, if I have subtracted 6 from RHS, I am going to subtract with 6 towards LHS also. So, I got here x equals to now here subtraction is there but bigger number has minus sign. So I will get here 4 but it will get bigger number sign. So it is going to be x equals to minus 4. Equation E. 
y minus 4 equals to minus 7. Now, if I want to separate this y, I have to cancel out this 4. I have to remove this minus 4. For that, minus 4 is already there. So, I am going to add plus 4. And the same way, towards left hand side, I am going to add plus 4. So, these two numbers will cancel out. I will get y equals to. Now, see here, minus sign is there. So, because of this minus sign, this is going to be subtraction. 7 minus 4, I will get here 3. But bigger number has a minus sign. So, this 3 also will get minus. So, y equals to minus 3. F equation is y minus 4 equals to 4. So, y minus 4 is there. If I want to make my variable separated, then I have to add here 4. And similarly, towards LHS, I am going to add 4. So, these two numbers will get cancelled out. I will get here y equals to 4 plus 4, 8. Equation G, y plus 4 equals to 4. So, y plus 4 is there. If I want to remove this 4, I have to subtract with 4. And similarly, towards LHS, I have to subtract with 4, 2. So, plus 4 and minus 4 will get cancelled out. I will get y equals to 4 minus 4, 0. H equation is y plus 4 equals to minus 4. So, y plus 4 is already there. So, I am going to subtract here with 4 and similarly towards LHS, I am going to subtract with 4. We cannot change the sign. Whatever sign we are using to separate the variable, same sign, same number, we have to use it towards LHS. Now, plus 4 and minus 4, I can cancel it out and here, y equals to minus minus will become plus. These two minus sign are there. So, we have to add them. So, 4 plus 4, it will become 8. But both are having minus sign. This answer will also has minus sign. So, that is how we have solve this equation. Now, this is the pattern. With this pattern, we have to write in our notebook that we have to add here statement that what operation we are going to do on the equation. That if we add 1 to both the side of equation, then what will happen? Then we got this step and after that we have solved this and we got x equals to 1. So, this is how you can write it in your notebook. Exercise 4.2, question number 2. Give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So, here we have to do two things. First, we have to separate the variable and then we have to solve the equation. Question 2's method to solve the numerical will remain same as question 1. In that also, we have done these two things that first we have separated the variable and then we have solved the equation. But in question 1, we have seen addition and subtraction numerical and equation. So, wherever there, were, there was a plus 1, we were adding minus 1 and we were cancelling out the numbers. Wherever there was a minus 1 or any minus number, the same number with opposite sign, we were adding and we were cancelling out the numbers. That is what we have done in question 1. But here in question 2, we are going to solve the numericals with multiplication and division. So, if there is a 3 multiplied along with the variable, then we are going to divide the same number and we are making the variable separate. So, this is the first case. If with the variable, the number is in division, then we are going to multiply the same number and we are cancelling out the numbers. In this step, what will happen that y is multiplied with 3. So, we are going to divide with 3 at both the side. In this, y is divided by 3. So, we are going to multiply. In either case, the number is going to be cancelled. So, that is what we are going to do in question number 2. In question number 1, we have done addition and subtraction. And question number 2, we are do, going to do multiplication and division. Let us solve our first equation that is 3L. This is L. 
3 l equals to 42 so here our rhs is 3 l whereas our lhs is 42 so now to separate a variable from this equation we have to remove this 3 so how to remove this 3 this is in multiplication so we can divide this equation at both the side with 3 so here i am going to divide with 3 and in LHS also, I am going to divide the equation with 3. So, this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out and I will get my variable separated here. And along with that, when I will divide this 2, I will get one number and that will be else value. So, 14 into 3 is 42. So, I got here L equals to 14. So, in this step, variable is being separated and in this step i have solved the equation and i got the value for l so that is how we have to solve all this equation for question number two now the first equation we have already solved and see that what is l's value now let us start with equation b let us first solve all the equation and understand how to solve this kind of numerical and then i will show you how to write it in a notebook so here our equation is b divided by 2 equals to 6. So here b divided by 2 is there and here in LHS 6 is there. If I want to separate this variable b into that division the 2 is there. So I have to multiply this RHS with 2. Then only I can cancel this 2 number. So same way I have to multiply with 2 towards LHS also. So this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out and I will get my variable separated here. And along with that, once I will multiply this with 2, I will get the answer for B's value. Equation C. It is P divided by 7 equals to 4. So 7 is in division. If I want to separate this P, I have to multiply with 7 towards RHS. Same way I am going to multiply the 7 towards LHS. So here my 7, 7 will get cancelled out. My P variable will be separated and I will get here value that is 4 into 7 is 28. So this is the value for P. D equation is 4x equals to 25. Now 4x is towards RHS and my 25 is towards LHS. So I want to separate 4 so I have to divide with 4 towards RHS and the same way I have to divide towards LHS then I will get X because this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled out and I got answer 25 divided by 4 and I cannot divide this so I will keep it as it is that is 25 by 4. E equation is 8Y equals to 36. Now 8 is in multiplication. If I want to remove this 8, I have to divide this side with 8. Same way I am going to divide this 36 with 8. Then I will get y equals to because this 8 and this 8 will get cancelled out. We can solve this like 4 into 9 divided by 4 into 2. So 4, 4 will get cancelled out and my answer here is 9 divided by 2. So y equals to 9 divided by 2 will be the answer. Now F equation is Z divided by 3 equals to 5 divided by 4. So in this first I am going to multiply with 3. So when I am multiplying with 3 I have to multiply towards LHS also. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out and Z equals to I will get 15 divided by 4. G equation is A divided by 5 equals to 7 divided by 15. So to remove this 5 which is in division I have to multiply at both the side with 5. So this 5 and this 5 will get cancelled out and here 5 threes are 15. So I will get here A equals to 7 divided by 3. Now 20 into T equals to minus 10 is there. Now if I want to remove this 20 which is in multiplication I have to divide RHS with 20. So same way I am going to divide LHS with 20. So I will get as an answer this 20, this 20 will get cancelled out. 
and 10 twos are 20. So t equals to I will get minus 1 divided by 2 because here in LHS minus sign is there. So that is how we are going to solve this equation. Now this is how we are going to write it in a notebook. In the notebook we are going to add one sentence over here that what we are going to do with our equation to solve it. So whatever step we are doing that we have to write it here and explain that if we divide the equation with 3 at both the sides then then what will happen that you have to write the step here and then we are going to solve that. Exercise 4.2 question number 3 give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So here also we have to do two steps that first we are separating variable and then we have to solve the equation. In question 1 and question 2, whatever steps we have followed, the same kind of steps we have to follow over here. But here, in question 1, we have done for addition and subtraction. In question 2, we have done for multiplication and division. And in question 3, this all the four operation equation, we are doing it together. So this is the difference between question 1, 2 and 3 and so if you have understood question 1 and 2 properly, this mix operation we are going to do in question number 3. So it is going to be really easy. Let us solve this first. A. It is 3n minus 2 equals to 46. So our RHS here is 3n minus 2. Whereas our LHS is 46. So we want to make this variable separate. Variable is n and that we want to make it separate. So for 3n minus 2, first we have to remove this 2. So for that, we are going to add 2 at both the side. So if this is 3n minus 2 is our RHS, we are going to add here 2. And similarly in LHS, we are going to add 2. So first, we are removing this 2. We can cancel this 2 out. And here we will get 3n equals to 46 plus 2 is 48. Now if we want to remove this 3, it is in multiplication. So we have to divide with 3 at both the side. So here we are going to divide with 3. And here also we are going to divide with 3. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out. And we will get here 16 3s are 48. So 16. So our answer here is n equals to 16. So that is how we are going to solve all the equations. Let us first understand how to solve all this numerical and then I will show you how to write in a notebook in a specific manner. Our second equation is 5m plus 7 equals to 17. 5m plus 7 equals to 17. So for we have to separate this variable out. So let us first remove this 7. How we can remove this 7? It is plus 7. So we are going to subtract 7 towards both the side. So this 7 and this 7 will get cancelled out. We will get here 5m equals to 10. 17 minus 7 will give us 10. Now we have to remove this 5. So we have to divide with 5 because it is in the multiplication. So as we are dividing with 5 towards both the side, this 5 and this 5 will get cancelled out and here we will get 5 to the 10. So m equals to 2 we will get here. 20p divided by 3 equals to 40. Now we want to make p separate. So first we can divide with 20 towards both the side. So 20p divided by 3 is already there. Along with that, I am dividing with 20. So we can separate the P. Both the side we are dividing with 20. So this 20 and this 20 will get cancelled out. Here 20, 2s are 40. So we will get here P divided by 3 equals to 2. Now we are going to multiply 3 at both the sides. So we can cancel out this 3 which is there in denominator. So 3 into P divided by 3 equals to 2 into 3. So we will get answer here. This 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out. So we will get P equals to 6. So two operation we have done here. First we have divided with 20. 
and then we have multiplied with 3. So that is how we have separate this variable p and we got the answer p equals to 6. Now another equation, equation d is 3p divided by 10 equals to 6. Now 3 is in multiplication and 10 is in division. So both the numbers we have to remove. To remove 3 which is in multiplication we have to divide the equation with 3. So 3p divided by 10 again I am dividing with 3 towards both the side. So this 3 and 3 will get cancelled out. 3 twos are 6. So I will get here p divided by 10 equals to 2. Now this 10 is in denominator. I want to remove this 10 so I have to multiply with this 10. So p into 10 divided by 10 equals to 2 multiply with 10. So I will get as an answer this 10 and this 10 will get cancelled out. So I will get p equals to 20. So this is my solution for the equation. In this kind of question we have to see that with our variable what all numbers are there whether they are in addition, subtraction, multiplication or in division. Opposite operation we have to do it and we have to remove those variables. And simultaneously all those operations we have to do it on LHS. So at the end we will get answer towards LHS. Now this is the way we are going to write in our notebook. Exercise 4.2, question number 4. Solve the following equations. Now here, equation A is 10p equals to 100. So in 10p equals to 100, we have to first separate this variable. So p is our variable. So we have to separate that variable first and then we have to find a value for the variable p. So first, if we want to separate this variable, we have to remove this 10. How to remove this 10? It is in the multiplication. So we have to divide with 10. So first we are dividing with 10 at both the side. Whatever operation we are doing towards RHS, the same thing we have to perform towards LHS also. So as I am dividing towards RHS with 10, I have to divide LHS with 10 as well. So this 10 and this 10 will get cancelled out. My P has been separated over here. So P equals to, now we have to simplify this LHS. So 10, 10s are 100. So P equals to 10 is the answer. And this is the way we have to solve all the equations. Our next equation is 10P plus 10 equals to 100. First, let us separate our variable that is p. So 10 is in multiplication and here 10 is in addition. So let us remove this 10 first. So how can we remove the 10 which is in the addition? So simply we can subtract with 10 towards both the side 100 minus 10. So here 10 p this 10 and this 10 will get cancelled out equals to 100 minus 10 will give us 90. Now 10 is in multiplication with P. So we can divide at both the side with 10 to make P separate, to make variable separate. So 90 divided by 10 as we have divided with 10 towards both the side. So 10 and 10 will get cancelled out and here we will get P equals to 10 nines are 19. So P equals to 9. Our next equation is C. P divided by 4 equals to 5. So if we want to separate this variable, variable P, then we have to multiply with 4 because 4 is already there in the denominator in the division. So we are going to multiply with 4 towards both the side. So this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled out. So here we will get P equals to 20. Our next equation is minus p by 3 equals to 5. 
Now we want to separate this variable p. So we are going to multiply with 3 and in multiplication minus p is there. In division 3 is there and same way we are going to multiply with 3. So 3 and 3 will get cancelled out. We will get here minus p equals to 15. Now to remove this minus sign we have to multiply towards both the side with minus. So minus p is there in multiplication with minus 1 equals to 15 into minus 1. So p minus p minus 1 will become plus p equals to minus 15 will be the answer. Another way is there that here we can multiply with minus 3. Then also we will get the same answer. But in two steps, we can solve it like this. In first step, this is a first step where we have removed this divisional 3. And after that, we need to remove this negative sign. So we have removed this negative sign in second step by multiplying with minus 1. So minus p into minus 1 has become plus p equals to towards the LHS 15 into minus 1 we got here minus 15. Equation E it is 3p divided by 4 equals to 6. So in first step we are going to remove this 4 which is in the division. So at both the side we are multiplying with 4. Towards LHS and RHS we are multiplying with 4. So 4 and 4 will get cancelled. We will get here 3p equals to 24. Now we have to remove this 3 and we have to separate this variable p. So for that we are going to divide with 3 towards both the sides. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out and here we will get p equals to 8. So that is how we have separated a variable and we have found the solution. After all these numericals, I will show you how to write it in a notebook. Let us first understand and solve these equations. Our f equation is 3s equals to minus 9. Let us first separate our variable. So we are going to divide with 3 towards both the side. So minus 9 divide with 3. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out and here we will get 3, 3 is a 9. So s equals to minus 3 we got as an answer. g is 3s plus 12 equals to 0. So first let us remove this plus 12. So we are going to subtract with 12 towards both the side. So this 12 and this 12 will get cancelled out. We will get here 3s equals to 0 minus 12. We will get minus 12. Now to remove this 3 and make our variable separate, we are going to divide with 3 because 3 is in multiplication. Towards LHS also, we are going to divide with 3. So here 3 4s are 12. So s equals to we got here minus 4 as an answer. 3s equals to 0 is our next equation. Here to remove 3 and to make our variable separate we are going to divide with 3. Both the side. So towards LHS also we are going to divide with 3. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out. 0 divided by 3 will give us 0. So that is how we got our answer that is s equals to 0. Equation i is 2q equals to 6. So let us divide with 2 towards both the side. So our variable will be separate. 2, 3 is 6. And here 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. So q equals to 3 will be our answer. Equation j is 2q minus 6 equals to 0. So let us first remove this 6. It is in minus. So we are going to add 6. 
So we have added here 6 and same way we have to add 6 towards LHS also. This 6 and this 6 will get cancelled out. So we will get 2Q equals to 0 plus 6 equals to 6. Now we want to remove this 2. It is in multiplication. So we can divide with 2 towards both the side. So this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out. Whereas here we can divide this 6 with 2 and we will get 3. So Q equals to 3 will be our answer. Equation K is 2Q plus 6 equals to 0. Now to remove this 6, we are going to subtract with 6 because this is positive 6. So if we are adding here minus 6, they both will get cancelled out. Same way, we are going to subtract with 6 towards LHS also. This 6 and this 6 will get cancelled out. 2Q equals to minus 6 will be our equation now. So now, if we want to separate the Q, we have to divide with 2. So 2Q divided by 2. Same way, towards LHS, we are dividing with 2. So this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out. 2, 3 is a 6. So Q equals to minus 3 will be the answer. So here, both the equations are almost same, but only one difference is here minus sign is there and here plus sign is there. So we can see the difference here that here we got Q equals to 3 and here we got Q equals to minus 3. Equation L is 2Q plus 6 equals to 12. Now to first remove this 6, we are going to subtract with 6 towards both the end. So 2Q plus 6 minus 6 equals to 12 minus 6. Whenever there is a multiplication and addition or subtraction, both of these things will be there in the equation. First, take up the operation of addition and subtraction. First, remove the numbers which are in addition and subtraction and then go for the multiplication and division. So, here we will get 2q equals to this 6 and this 6 will get cancelled out. Towards LHS, 12 minus 6 will give us 6. Now, comes the multiplication. 2 is in multiplication. So, we are going to divide with 2 to remove this 2. Both the side we are going to divide with 2. So, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out and here we will get 3. So, Q equals to 3 will be the answer. Now this is how we are going to write it in a notebook in a stepwise manner. Whatever operation we are doing that we have to mention first and then we have to do that and we have to solve the equation. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then keep learning, keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.